Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, honored Toastmasters, and fellow guests. I still haven't paid my dues yet. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'd like to talk to you about why being tall is not easy. Now, how many of you, show of hands, want to be tall? It's a good number. Now, keep your hands up. Now, I want an honest, I want an honest answer. How many of you really want to know what it's like to be tall? Raise your hand if you want to be tall. Six five, six ten, seven feet tall. One person. Yeah, well, I mean, assuming I have the, you know, I don't. Proportional. Proportional. <laughs> My goal for the speech is to persuade you that being tall is not that great. And Adrian, since you're the only person who wanted to be tall, I'm going to ask you at the end of the speech if you still want to be tall. Now, being tall has a lot of advantages, but at the same time, being tall also has a lot of disadvantages. Social interaction is, another, is one way being tall can be very annoying and inconvenient. For example, when I make small talk with someone, one of the first things they tell me is that I'm tall. They comment on my height, which is fine. I respect that. It's a good icebreaker to lead on to, a, you know, lead on to further conversation. But then they ask me another question immediately after that. And you all know what that question is. You are so tall. Do you play basketball? That's the worst question you can ever ask a tall person. You can ask a tall person that. I can guarantee you, if you ask a tall person something other than basketball, they will immediately like you. Because they're so used to hearing basketball and how tall are you and how's the weather up there. You have to go to different clothes stores to get your clothes. And all these annoying, annoying questions. That's just one disadvantage of being tall. Now, another disadvantage of being tall are awkward social situations. Now, I don't know if you've realized this, but I'm brown. I'm Indian, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, being tall and Indian, as my fellow Indians in the audience, right, one of them, you'll know that there are not a lot of tall Indians. In fact, I only know two tall Indians. One of them goes to this campus, and he's a bit shorter than me. And the other one plays college basketball. He's seven feet tall. Those are the only two tall Indians I know. And being tall and Indian, it's an oxymoron. It just doesn't happen. I'm a genetic anomaly in my race. So when people look at me, they give me a strange look. So they'll be walking around and pretend I'm just sitting in my chair or standing right next to my chair. They'll be looking at me and be like, oh, a tall Indian. And then they'll do a double take. What? A tall Indian? Because they've never seen someone like that. <laughs> See, social interactions get a bit awkward when you're tall. Now, another awkward situation that I found myself in a couple of days ago was actually, not a couple of days ago, last week, was here in the School of Management. I was talking to a friend of mine. He's 6'8". I'm 6'5". So as you could tell, there are two tall giants talking to each other in, this, in the hallway at the School of Management. These two girls started looking at us, and I could notice because they were staring at us. One of them pulls out her phone, and they start approaching us, slowly, in a creepy fashion. She takes out her phone and puts it up to her eye, pointing it directly at me. Now, for those of you who have a smartphone, you know what happens to your camera when you press the click button when your volume is turned on, right? It makes a click or a chick, right? Whatever sound it makes. Next thing you know, I hear click, 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 click. <laughs> it's like I was a celebrity and some paparazzi was taking pictures of me. And then she said, oh, turned it on mute, and then started taking more pictures. <laughs> because I was standing there next to my tall friend. <laughs> now, it's, one, it's another inconvenience of being tall. Another inconvenience of being tall are greetings, especially hugs. When you hug me, chances are your head is going to be touching my chest, not next to my head, right? I remember hugging one of my friends who I haven't seen in a while. She came up to me. She's like, Vivek! And then she came up to me and put her arms around me. And then her head was right here. So I put my arm around her back. What was I supposed to do with my other hand? I just started petting her head. <laughs> you see, being tall isn't so easy. 
<laughs> now, a third way, being tall is inconvenient and it's just not easy, is that things don't always go your way. Whenever I go to a department store or a clothing store, I can never find clothes that fit me well. The, one, the pants that are long enough are double my waist size. And the shirts that are long enough are double the chest size. I can never find something that fits me. Another inconvenience of being tall is I can barely fit in my very own car. Could you imagine that? Probably half an inch between the top of my head and the ceiling of the, of the, of the car. Imagine, imagine driving over a large bump. I had to hit this, the, the top of my car and it hurts. It's not easy being tall. The last way being tall is very disadvantageous is I'd like to share, you, share with you my last point by, through a story. I went to India over, over winter break in December and my connecting flight was from Paris to Dallas when, while coming back. There was this gentleman, I was sitting in my seat with my family, all seated in economy, and being in a plane, I probably have two inches of foot room, leg room at max, so I can never stretch. I would have to walk and get up if I wanted to stretch. And in some ways, it's like torture. So sometimes I have to take a pill to knock me out, so I just stay asleep throughout the entire plane ride, which I've been doing since I was six years old. I forgot the pill, but I get it every time I uh, travel internationally. But there was this gentleman who was about 5'10", 5'11". I'm really good at guessing people's height because I'm tall. So he was 5'10", 5'11", and he was complaining to the air hostess. He was like, I'm really tall, I have long legs, and I can't sit and coach. And then she looked at him and said, oh wow, you're so tall. Um, let me see if I can get you an emergency exit row. Because you know how those seats, you get all the legroom in the world, right? He got a seat. He got a seat there. and. I'm sure he had a very comfortable plane ride back home. I went to that same air hostess and asked her, could I have that same seat? And she paused for a moment, and then I stood up. Her eyes widened. <laughs> and she said, sorry, we, did, we just ran out of exit row seats. I'm 6'5". That guy was 5'10". <laughs> See, being tall is a big inconvenience. And sometimes there are a lot of disadvantages of being tall. So be thankful for your own body. Be thankful for your own physique. Everyone's different. And again, I'd just like to reiterate, next time you go meet a tall person, don't ask them if they play basketball. Adam Tells Master.